Okay, so in this next video, I'm going to teach you how to use Bluetooth to connect to the Mega Pi board. Let me make sure it's okay. I've got it turned on right now, powered by a battery. Okay, but it's not connected to the computer with the USB cable. So I'm going to show you now how to connect it over Bluetooth. So what we're going to do is we'll go down. Let me move this window so you can see down here. We're going to go down here to the connection and let's see. That's not what we want. We want the little arrow here to get Bluetooth. Okay. And we're going to add a Bluetooth device. Okay. And suddenly it says paired so I think that I have already connected to this one on here so let me so anyway you're gonna go in here and you're gonna connect with it it's kind of trick I my concern is that um, here let, let me remove it so you can see the process the the one thing I'm not sure about is what's gonna happen when we have a room full of these because it's a little tricky. Maybe they show you like by proximity, but you click pair. You have to look at the passcode. Um, I don't know where this passcode comes from, but you have to click yes to connect it. And so this is where you want to be careful though, because you want to make sure you're connecting to your device. So I don't know if, if it would help to like step out of the room to connect it or something, but you'll click yes. Um, oh. And didn't like that, so let me try again. Pair. Click yes. All right, now it's connected. So we're gonna go back to here now, but before it works, we have to do one more thing. We need to connect to the board through the program. So even though we're connected to the computer on Bluetooth, we have to also connect to the board. We'll choose Bluetooth and discover discovering Bluetooth right here and now I have some strains options and then one that says make block I'm going to choose that one it says connecting it's going to take a minute okay so I just pause it and came back um, after it finished it took about 30 seconds to connect maybe probably not quite that long maybe like 15 or 20 now I can run this oops I want to do a double click I guess all right, and now I'm getting readings from the sensor again. Okay, and it's actually updating pretty quick, it looks like. And this is all now over Bluetooth as opposed to the USB cable. So imagine how much easier this would have been when we we're doing the project where we we're driving the, the robot out and back. If you didn't have to spend 20 minutes uploading and each time you want to make a change, and you could have just been here on the computer and send your new program straight over without being connected. Okay, and so I'll even show you here. I'll run this one now. I'm going to pick it up so it doesn't go anywhere. But I'm going to turn it on. So it's going forward and backward. Or just going forward, I guess. Okay, and I'm controlling the motor like this, again, without being connected. So I'm going to click stop right here. And it's all done. So hopefully you see the benefit of using the Bluetooth. And hopefully it's not too much of a mess trying to get us all connected to the Bluetooth on these uh, devices. Okay.